Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. I'm gonna try to bring her right into you. Oh, dude. Come this way, Mike. Hang on, I'll bring her this way. I'm gonna try to keep a tight line. She's on the back hook. All right, ready? Oh, we got her, dude. Nice job, Mike. Wow. Holy cow. Dude, what a, is she hooked good? Uh, she is. <laughs> oh my God. Is that cam rolling? Yes, is mine. Yeah. Dude. Oh man, look at the thickness on that fish, guys. Top Raider musky, thunderstorm score. Wow. We mixed it up a little bit to get this fish to bite and we'll fill you in on all the details. Let's get her back. Wow. Very easy if you're getting into the musky sport, Mike, right? For, for folks that are new to this, it's easy to mess up on the top raider or top water in general because on a musky like that, she yep. was she was following, she nipped it, she nipped it, then she kept coming. And if you set the hook when you first see the musky come up on the lure, that's that musky's gone. Yeah, your bait's flying out of the water. And I mean, 99.9% .9 of the time when Mike and I see that stuff happen, guiding or with our buddies that are kind of new to the sport, sometimes we'll bring some of our friends up here, mm -hmm. put them on a top raider because it's easy to throw and they'll set the hook too early and blow the whole thing. And uh, again, it's all about learning. So it's fine because you got you to see what happens when you do that. But on this one, thankfully tonight, you saw the right way to do it. And what that really just entails is patience. Yeah. Just don't stop, re don't stop retrieving, don't speed it up, don't slow it down, just stay at the same speed. And if you can maintain, you know, you, you know, ease in your nerves and just keep cranking, a lot of times the fish will stick with it and like this one, she ate it. Yeah, I think you said it there, you gotta have nerves of steel because you know there's a big fish chasing your lure, you see that wake, it's really easy to, to get nervous and to, you know, jack an early hook set. I mean, but that's a, that's a lost fish. It's the nerves. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's all about my rule of thumb and everybody's got a different, you know, the old saying, wait until you feel the weight of the fish, you know, don't set the hook until you feel the fish. That's, that's fine. I've, I've, I've abided by that for many years. My rule of thumb that I, that I use for top water fishing is when it's tough to turn the handle of the reel, like as in the fish actually has the lure in its mouth and you can't turn the handle, then it's time to pull. If you can't turn the handle, you know the fish has got the lure in its mouth. If you can still turn the handle, don't set the hook. And uh, that's always been in the in recent years my rule of thumb for top raider fishing. Um, anything else, Mike, on top water in general? I mean, I mean, I think you covered it pretty well. Um, the other, only other thing I'd say is be prepared for the figure eight too. The, the oh, main thing yes. to remember is that you're actually submerging that top water bait. The, the top raider is going down under as you do the figure yes, eight. You're yes. not keeping it on the surface. So it is a different action. The prop's not spinning the same way and, and things like that. Yes. Um, but they'll eat it that way. The muskies will eat it in the figure eight too. Absolutely. And, and you know, and I, and I think Mike and I would, would defend that against anybody. I, I know people catch them uh, figure eighting on the surface, but 
loons dive, muskrats dive, beavers dive, uh, turtles dive, all these critters that muskies might eat, you know, baby ducks dive. Everything goes underwater, especially when you're getting chased by a predator. So I think it's more natural for you to emulate that by diving underwater in the figure eight. That's a really good, really good point, Mike. Well, guys, with that said, we're going to get back. We, we've, we're going to get back at it here. We've got uh, thunderstorms in the area, like we said. We've got about an hour of light left, and doubling up tonight would be awesome. We've, it, we're, we intend on doing it. <laughs> well, guys, we can't thank you enough. Thank you so much to all of you Musky Mastery subscribers and viewers out there. Even if you're not subscribed, we love you too. And uh, as always, we really hope you enjoyed this segment. And thanks for watching. You're watching Season 4 of Musky Mastery Out. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.